Hello friends, India and the world is witnessing a huge and growing surge in the numbers of COVID-19 infection due to Omicron variant. Based on carefully researched and peer-reviewed facts and scientific studies and consensus developed by global medical community, I will be presenting you today some facts and recommendations to address your concern and dispel your fears regarding the virus. Medical and research teams worldwide have extensively reviewed this rapid spread and concluded that Omicron is three to four times more transmissible but far less virulent and severe with faster recovery time than Delta variant if you are vaccinated. Recently, it was reported that almost 70 to 90 percent of ICU cases in Mumbai hospitals and other hospitals were non-vaccinated. It means that fully vaccinated people who strictly follow COVID-19 appropriate behavior have a much greater chance and probability of escaping infection or reducing the severity of symptoms or lesser risk of hospitalization. Let us now examine for your convenience the symptoms associated with Omicron infection. Omicron primarily affects the upper respiratory tract like nose, mouth, throat, vocal cord. Common symptoms associated include a running nose, scratchy throat with possible difficulty in swallowing, dry mouth, fatigue, night sweats, body aches, headache and mild fever. Of course, some of these symptoms can also be due to other viral diseases like flu, dengue or even malaria. And now to answer most critical question, what to do if you test positive for Omicron? If positive but asymptomatic, immediately isolate or quarantine yourself for seven days. If positive with mild symptoms, Isolate yourself immediately and consult and follow your doctor's advice. If positive with persistent symptoms or new symptoms like breathlessness, which may lead to drop in oxygen saturation level below 93%, chest pain, immediately seek hospitalization. Regardless of whether you are symptomatic or asymptomatic, please follow the simple precaution I suggested in my earlier video. One, salt water or medicated mouthwash, gargle three to four times a day. Steam inhalation two to three times a day. Drink only hot water frequently. Five minutes of breathing exercise daily. Use government approved mask correctly. We are today witnessing a third wave. This raises the question, is our healthcare system prepared for a third wave? Considering the following facts, I believe the answer is yes. There is a 25 fold increase in dedicated COVID-19 hospitals and 42 times increase in ICU beds in hospital. Oxygen shortage have been overcome and adequate supply is restored. Government has also approved emergency use of new antiviral medicines and new monoclonal antibody therapies. Most significantly, our doctors have learned a great deal about the best ways to treat COVID-19 infection. 
and are as competent today to manage it as they are to manage any other diseases. You can now observe that our healthcare system is fully prepared for a third wave adequately. In conclusion, get tested if you suspect symptoms, isolate yourself and follow doctor's advice positively. Maintain mass distance sanitization protocol. Follow all government advisory rules and guidelines. And you can carry on with your daily routine without too much worry and fear. Let us together spread this message far and wide. Stay safe, stay healthy and thank you.